Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez and this Kane Tip of the Week. Working both hands when you're training. And here's the reason why. In our school, we work our right hand and we work our left hand. Not just because you have students that are right handed and left handed, but I'm going to talk about me. I'm a right handed person. So 95 to 98% of the time, that cane is in my right hand. There are times it ends up in my left hand and I don't even think about it. And I'm going to tell you how. Is when I'm coming to a door to unlock it, or I'm coming to my car, and the cane's in my right hand, one of the things I'll do is, not even thinking, I switch to my left, put my hand in my pocket with my right, and pull out my keys. Now, if I'm going to my car, obviously, I can hit the button and open it up, and then I get in. If I'm going to my house, with my right hand, I'm grabbing the keys, the cane's in my left, I'm not even thinking that it's in my left. I'm just opening up my house. Come in, unlock, and I'm ready to go. This could be my business, this could be anywhere. And I'm not even thinking put the cane in my non-dominant hand. So if something comes up and happens, yeah, if I have time, I can switch and go to town and boom, boom, boom. But if they grab my hand, grab my shoulder, my elbow, they pull me, I need to be able to use my left hand to defend myself, you know, and strike, and that would give me a second or two to grab it with two hands, whatever, or go to my dominant. But right off the bat, that cane is 100% in my left hand. My right hand is busy. Something happens, grabbing, got a hold of me, I need to be able to strike. Whether it's inverted, I have the cane with a traditional grip, I need to strike, and that's going to give me a second or two to go to two hands or whatever I need to do. So you need to think about your training. Train with both hands. Not just because one day you might have to have an injury and you might have to have it in your left hand, but if you stop and think about it, and I started looking at people years ago, walking with canes, you know, just regular people. And I would ask questions and stuff like that, and that, and that helps me with the training. But I, I would notice people when they're getting ready to pay for something, and it's the same with me. I didn't notice it about me. I noticed it about other people. And then I realized I am that other person that I will put the cane into my non-dominant hand, reach for my wallet, reach for my keys, hell, reach for my cell phone. And I'm talking on my cell phone, and here is the cane in my non-dominant hand. So that is why it is so important to train with both hands because throughout the day, I bet you do, if you're a righty, I bet you put it to the left side for something. And if you're a left-handed person, I bet you put it in the right hand to work something. So hopefully that tip helps. Remember, practice with both hands. It could save your life. Gary, thank you very much. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye.